is a brief tutorial on Skype for Business. What is Skype for Business? It's an instant messaging tool used for quick information gathering. It's a meeting tool that can be used for professional online meetings. It's a video recording tool you can use for online meetings. And it's a quick way to get in touch with coworkers available for use with any staff member with an at cambridgecollege.edu email address. To get started with Skype for Business, click on the Start menu and search for Skype for Business. It'll come up in your programs. Click it to launch it. Sign in using your full email address firstname.lastname at cambridgecollege.edu Then type in your network password. And click Sign In. You can save this information for later. Here's a closer look at the Skype for Business application that runs in the background. At the top, you have menu items. Underneath, you can see your status based on your availability. This ties into your Outlook meeting calendar and turns red when you're in a meeting. Underneath that, you have icons for contacts, conversations, and meetings. And under that, you have your list of contacts. Over on the right, you can add or find contacts. To find a contact in the Find Someone bar, start typing the person's last name. Once they pop up, you can right-click on the person to add them to your favorites. Double-clicking on their name will open up a chat box. To send an IM in the chat box that opens, type your message into the bottom section and click Return to Send. Your ongoing conversation will be recorded in the chat box above it. Please note, all conversations should be of a business nature. Here's a closer look at the Skype for Business Instant Message box. In the Skype for Business Instant Message box, you can see the status of your recipient. Green is for available, yellow is away, and red indicates they're in a meeting. Below that, you can see the conversation. And underneath that is where you will type your message before you send it to the other person. You can also see icons for attach a file, mark a conversation with high importance, add an emoticon, and set the send button. You can also choose to add another person to the conversation. This will send your message to more than one person.
Skype for Business allows for online collaboration meetings with audio and screen or application sharing capabilities. To join a meeting from your computer audio, you will need a headset with a mic. Select Meet Now from the top menu bar. Choose to join the meeting from your computer audio. Once you're in the meeting, select Invite More People to invite others. From the meeting window, you have options for video, if you have a video camera connected to your computer, mic control to mute and unmute, screen sharing to present your desktop, and an option to end the meeting. From within the meeting, you have controls as a presenter under Participant Actions. You can mute the audience. You can disable meeting instant messages. You can disable attendee video. You can hide attendees' names. You can lock down presenter controls by making everyone an attendee. Or you can invite more people by email. If you do not have a headset with a mic connected to your computer, you can still use the tool to share your desktop with your coworkers, but you will need to conference them in on your desk phone. Select Meet Now from the top menu bar. Select Don't Join Audio and click OK. At this point, you can call the other person on your desk phone. Once in the meeting, select Invite More People to invite others. Please note, all meeting attendees will have to join from their desk phone if this is the option. From here, you can present your desktop to begin the meeting. From within a meeting, you may use the application to record any audio or video connected to the meeting. Please note, you must have an audio headset to record the meeting audio. Select Meet Now to open up the Meeting Center window and join the meeting from your computer audio. Select the Present button and share your desktop or program that you would like to record. Then click the More Options button to start the recording. When the recording is finished, go to Manage Recordings to publish, play, rename, or delete the recording. If you have any questions about this product or any other questions concerning technology available at Cambridge College, please feel free to contact us. We are available by phone at 617-873-0159. You may email us at helpdesk at cambridgecollege.edu or you may log in to place a help desk request at https colon forward slash forward slash helpdesk.cambridgecollege.edu. Thank you for your time.